guess what? It's time to start out doing some goodwilling. And look, everywhere I go, I see this Star Spangled Band. You remember that thing? <laughs> yeah. It was at a thrift store we were at last week. All right, well, let's do some thrifting today. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll find something nice. They're doing some pretty heavy restocking right now. So I'm hoping I can find something good. But I'm kind of hiding out over here in the like glass baking section. This thing caught my eye. I don't know what it is, but it's very pretty. It looks handmade, so that's kind of cool. That uh, Corning or set is still here because it's overpriced. These are pretty, little daisy and buttons. That is super overpriced for how bad of shape that's in. It's a shame. It's looking like a uh, bad first stop. I've walked the whole store and haven't really seen anything worth talking about. So just check the board games real quick, I guess. There's definitely some pretty old things here, meaning like things that are old that are very pretty. That's really cute. don't think it would sell well in my booth though, so I'm not gonna get it. I've seen this set before. I don't know who it's from. Goodwill actually put it together as a set instead of individually pricing it. It's crazy. Tulip time. It's very like 80s retro. Little wine plates. Okay. Nothing knocking my socks off though. Um, no thank you. I'm not a fan of clowns. There's a couple things going on in the plastic wear section that look interesting. Some vintage thermos. I always really like those. I think they're cool, but I don't think they're really worth anything. And I don't know if I am probably alone in liking them. This is a Ninja Turtle sandwich thing. I don't know if we have Michelangelo. Um, but definitely know we have Raphael. Mon Bento. It's like a bento box, lunch box. That's kind of cool. Look at this. A little Snoopy thermos. See, I think they're cool. I don't know. Ooh. It's a Barbie thermos lunch box for a dollar. I don't think I'd be able to put it in my toy in my booth, but maybe Dallas's toy booth. I'll see if he wants it. We thought about getting the lunch box at Hannah Pound, but it's 2001. It's not not terribly special. However, ooh, Pikachu and a blue Mew. Hey, those are stickers. Dope. Sweet. Bonus stickers. All right. Well, not a complete wasted first stop yeah well at least we're leaving with a lunch box we did not make it very far today before we stopped for lunch we went to one thrift store and now it's time for some pizza okay. Ooh. They have cinnamon Ooh. twists too and it looks super good i'm trying the sicilian this time looks good never had this here you know what does happen but hasn't happened in a little while is we go to a bunch of goodwills and find absolutely nothing kind of feels like one of those days after that first stop but I'm not that discouraged yet I'm gonna find something I don't care if I gotta buy a bag full of Barbies I'm getting something <laughs> bomber these are super cool but they want too much money for them I'm not paying five dollars for this set uh, see what else they have some little honey pots those are kind of cute there are two video games and I have this one <laughs> siphon filter okay there's something in there. Hey, five dollars though. Boo. Now this is a cute mug. The handle's just his head. That's funny. Here's a a jeans mug. I've actually seen a full set of dishes. I think on the Discord somebody posted it. Just a a denim themed dish set. That's probably from it for sure. That's kind of funny. It kind of does feel like one of those days where there's not going to be much. There is one more, one more thrift store I'm going to go to after this one. And honestly, if there's nothing there, we're just going to quit. We have the added benefit of having this channel in this situation because sometimes if you're if you're sourcing to resell, you can go do a bunch of thrifting. I kind of like this yellow one. You can go do a bunch of sourcing uh, for reselling 
you can waste a bunch of time and you're basically wasting money if you thrift all day and buy nothing to resell and that sucks at least for us we have this channel so you know we're making content we're not completely failing <laughs> still kind of sucks but at least there's that but i'm just gonna be completely honest with you today i'm not in that super work hard kind of mood so we're gonna do that other thrift store we don't find nothing we don't find nothing we'll find something else to do i really need to buy some of these binders though look how big they are these are 12 13 dollars at target i was just looking at them what's this poster Disney newsy cool i was just looking at these at target i need some more for my trading card stuff 12 bucks 13 bucks two dollars at the thrift store let's go oh the little cat dishes i'm guessing they're like actual cat bowls yeah it's for a for cat food but um if i gave pants and mochi that they would start to revolt because they're trickle feeders and they'd be like what are you trying to do to me are you trying to starve me i think i'd never feed them again whoa what? look come look at this World Cup 1094, bought NBA Live, bought NBA Jam, let's go. Pretty sure I have that. I'll have to look those up. But also, I don't have that. I don't remember if I have that. Pretty sure I have that, but we'll look. Definitely have that. We must have got here right as they were restocking. They're not great inbox Sega Genesis games, but. Uh, Pretty happy to have them nonetheless. I actually try not to look ahead in these situations just in case something up, something's coming up that's gonna surprise me. All right. I think I need to stop and look and see if I have some of these. One day in the distant future, whenever I have all the time in the world and the energy, I would start to reupholster furniture. This is such a cool shaped chair. And I think it'd be really cute in like a velvet, maybe like a gold color or like a green. That'd be pretty. No way. Lots of goosebumps. Lots of goosebumps and lots of this specific Star Wars book. We've sold this whole set for a hundred bucks, and uh, I'm already well on my way to compiling it again. So uh, there's a st big stack of this set here: Star Wars, The Young Jedi Knights. I actually read several of those in high school. Also, good series. So I'm going to buy those, and then I'm probably going to buy some of these goosebumps. Though I got to kind of look at it. I have yet to write down which ones I do and don't have, so give me a minute here. We got stacks. Oh stacks God. and stacks. This is one of my favorite Goodwills. Look at these big fancy glass doors. Pretty. Very nice. Oh, they have the big chonker. It's 10 bucks. Mm, it's worth it. It's, it's almost worth it, but it's not. Mm. <laughs> Look at this nice small game section. I think I've got the greatest hits of that, but I'll hold on to it and make sure. $1.29? No, actually, I'll just buy it anyways. What the heck's up with $1.29? These are all $1.29. Well, freak. I'll just buy all of them and put them in my toy booth. $1.29 video games? What? I don't want that for $1.29. Okay, well, I'll just, there's just two for $1.29. I think they messed up with their sticker gun on that. Some cute canisters here. Nice little sticker bowl. Half expected that to be world market. Seems really cute. Like the little bubbles. Nice little decanter. I like this tray down here. You know, it would be really great is if it was a TV tray. So I can sit it on my legs while I watch TV. This is definitely not, but it is really cute. I want five bucks for it. Mm, I'll think about it, but probably not. Some Fire King. So cute. Are they Fire King? Yes, of course they are. Milk glass with gold rim, fire can. I got a little bummed out because this toy wall is like not good at all. But then I just turned around and look, look at all this. Still might not be anything good, but I'll leave a lot happier knowing that I dug through 
a lot of stuff. There's a Mighty Ducks hockey puck. Cool. All right, I saved the best for last. Finally found something. It's a pair of Western style Wrangler jeans. You might say, Hannah, Wranglers are always Western. They're Western wear. True, but these are a specific style. They don't have butt pockets and they're really cute and people like them right now. So I'm gonna get them, so $5. Yay. Rip. So there's some stores I really like that have like a whole knickknack section that's kind of funny things, like Urban Outfitters is specifically one that I'm thinking of right now, that uh, they've got a whole apartment home section that's just got quirky things in it. And one of the things I see in there a lot are these like spoons that are shaped in a specific way. This is one of them that I've always laughed when I saw it. I was like, I'm not gonna buy that, but I like it. But here they are, and they're $2. How do I not get them? I use wooden spoons constantly, and mine are starting to get really stained from tomato sauce, so we have guitar spoons, and I dig it. I've been preaching for a little while now that you gotta check the Halloween section at thrift stores because you'll find, you know, some props or some other toy stuff that look very Halloween-y, but they didn't know it was a valuable collectible. Or for like Hannah and I, we've actually in the Halloween sections found vintage clothing that uh, is really worth it for us to resell. I haven't had any luck this year, but uh, I've seen some people on the Discord have some great luck. One guy found a Power Rangers Dragon Sword Dagger right here in the Halloween section. You gotta look. I found a Bratz item, but it's not a doll. It's one of the uh, style style heads that you get to play with her hair and try to like fix her up. But uh, that seems like a lot of space to take up on a shelf. So I don't think I'm gonna get it, but it is funny to see it. What is it? It's like a, a styled head Bratz doll that thing. That is Bratz though? Yeah. Look, I got two video games. Sweet. $1.29, $1.29, $2.29. Look, I got funny spoons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, we're sitting on the floor in our game room. This is how we're gonna wrap this video up. We've never done this before, but we were sitting down here organizing all these Goosebump books and we just figured, well, we might as well just do it while we're here. So I, what I did is these are some books I already had. And of course I bought those other Goosebumps books today and I've went through and started putting them all in an order. I, there's a lot that I'm not entirely sure about uh, different sets. I've really got to do a little bit more research to figure out what sets what, because these maybe are different reprints see how the font on goosebumps is different on some of them but most of them by and large are are these ones uh that you can tell are identical i've looked inside of them of course any book published here in america i don't know how it works where you guys are if you're overseas but here in america there's always a published date printed inside the book on a specific page so what's strange though is that all these have the same publishing date so i i don't know i don't know if they're different sets or if just those earliest books had a different font it's probably just two reprintings in the same year or just two reprintings pretty close together i want to get a set for myself personally that matches but we're also reselling these at our toy booth so it doesn't really matter so because i'm going to bring home every one i find and if it's one that's going to go here on the bookshelf on my set i'll just put it in there switch the other one out when i get the ones that all match and uh, the other ones will be sent on to my my booth but i want to show you real quick just how many of them we've got i mean it's by no means all of them but uh three four five six ten eleven fifteen sixteen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty two twenty three twenty six twenty nine twenty nine rip uh <laughs> thirty thirty one thirty three thirty nine forty two forty three rip again no okay i just can't count 42 43 45 47 51 56 57 59 and then this set starts over these are choose your own adventures have you seen these no yeah uh someone commented below last time we brought some home and pointed out that that's what they were and i didn't really pay them enough attention until uh we came home today we had a couple last time and we brought a couple more home today so they're pretty cool you get to you know pick your own adventure and then there, here's the set from i guess the TV episodes turn into books. That's pretty cool. And the only other one here, this one actually predates all of them. I don't know if I showed you this, but it doesn't have the Apple 
uh, the Apple logo on the side and stuff. It's got a hippo. Hippo! Right. I, <laughs> I knew nothing about this personally. Um, but all these are dated, I think, 95. This one, the publishing date in it is... Uh, now, mind you, here, hold this up. Mind you, this one is, like, colored on and stuff. Uh, some kid, I guess, Rossi, maybe that's his or her name, got pretty serious in here with a crayon. Uh, but the date's 92. Well, copyright since 92. But yeah, the dates, all the dates and everything in this present to be a little bit older. So I don't think it's worth anything. We'll certainly look it up before we put it in our toy booth because that's what we normally do. But uh, yeah, I just want to show that to you. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to eventually get all of those collections and just keep them here on the shelf with my Animorph books. And then there's the Star Wars books I bought today. Uh, just starting that set over. All right. What else did we get? I got a Pokemon tin, and this is uh, pretty cool because it has some stickers in it. And I, I know I noticed it had stickers in it whenever I got it, but I didn't see that there were more. There's like four different sheets of them, so I'll have to put those on something. But I collect these tins. I'm trying to keep one of each, and it's a pretty crazy number of tins. How many? Every month, there's a couple new ones that come out, and I don't go buy them new or anything. But when I find them at the Goodwill for a dollar, I grab them. Okay, I got one more piece of nonsense, and then we can talk about Hannah's stuff. Just another binder, one of the biggest ones I could find, putting all of our uh, trading cards and stuff in those. What did you get? Some spoons. <laughs> Some spoons. <laughs> um, I have always seen these spoons and thought they were funny, but also cool. So I've always kind of wanted some, but never wanted to pay the like $15 they were charging because right. I'm cheap. Um, but yeah, they're just some rock and roll spoons. Yeah. Hi, Pantar. Pantar man. <laughs> he is. He just licked his lips like. He came over here and kind of got in my lap. <laughs> he, but then I picked him up. He's like, no, okay, you can go. He doesn't like to be hit. You, you have to show up on camera. It's in your contract. So sorry about that. Okay. Anyways, you got so spoons. he gets his rent for free. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got some spoons. Very good. Wait, um, I didn't see this. Uh, you didn't realize they were guitars? No, not at all. You said something in the store about, I got spoons. I did not notice they were guitars. Yeah. They're like well, now I see why you bought them. Rock and roll spoons. They're <laughs> okay. sweet. And you got a pair of jeans, yeah? I did. I got a pair of vintage Western style. He just knocked my binder jeans. over and tried to crawl into it. That's sorry. I don't mean to, well, Pants is interrupting you. He should yeah, be sorry. Yeah, that's rude. Um, some vintage Wrangler jeans. They're pretty sweet. Um, anytime I can find the, like, pocketless butts. I'm happy about it, so that's that's that. I'm and that's all you. Up. That's all you got today. Yep. Okay, hold this right here. I got a bunch of video games, and some of them are really cheap, so I'm really happy about them. We never did much video game reselling. Used to, you know, Wii Sports or any game we came across that I already had that was worth maybe twenty dollars or more. It's about the only time we ever bought video games for resale until a few months ago when we started putting. Uh, lots of games in our antique booths. We still don't mess with some of them on eBay. Again, unless they're, sometimes we'll bring home a $50, $60 game that I already have. And we'll sell that one on eBay. But otherwise, if they're you know, $15 games, $10 games, $5 to $8 is kind of the sweet spot that we sell like hotcakes in our antique malls. So that kind of stuff, I don't even scan it. If it's cheap like a couple of these games were like, you know, $1.29 for Final Fantasy X Greatest Hits, I won't scan. I mean, I know I have this, so this one doesn't count. But when I see this kind of thing, Lord of the Rings, I'll get it. I'll come home. I'll scan it. If I have it, I'll send it to the booth. If I don't have it, I'll keep it, and I don't really care much either way. But our antique mall, we've just been selling so many loose games like this. It's great. Uh, and SSX3, too. You know, that'll sell quick because people love these games, myself included. Uh, but this one I definitely didn't have. I knew as soon as I saw it that I didn't have this. So uh, Ultimate Beast Soccer, I thought, you know, We'll put that in the collection. But the stuff I'm more excited today about today are these because I'll show you real quick just to give you a peek. There's pretty much all of my Sega Genesis collection there. Well, I have a few loose games, right? But uh, I've got a few more loose games somewhere. But by and large, my my inbox Sega collection is what, like 25 games max? So even though most of this is just well, all of it's complete nonsense. It's stuff I don't have, but stuff I'll be happy to put in my collection. Uh, and most of it had its manuals and stuff, so I'm happy about that. Uh, 
I want a bigger Genesis collection than I have. I love Sega Genesis, and honestly, the packaging, for some reason, I'm more nostalgic for than just like the cardboard boxes of the Super Nintendo or something. Yeah. So I, I like it a lot, and I'd love to have, you know, I've got bookshelves over here full of Wii games, right? Full of Xbox games over there. Certainly don't have any shelves full of Sega stuff, so that'll, that'll fill in some holes. And uh, we're going to do some more trading credit stuff in the next few days. And when we go do that, I think uh, I might have to get my hands on a couple more Genesis games. But what's your favorite thing you brought home today? Um, two spoons. The spoons. You're a regular <laughs> old Kadabra, aren't you? <laughs> or no, Alex Zam has the two spoons. Correct. Kadabra has one. I don't remember. I just know the guy that does the song with all the Pokemon and gives them nicknames. He's just like, one spoon. One spoon. Two spoons. Two spoons. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... My favorite thing, I don't know, I guess those Genesis games. I'm pretty happy to have brought those home. Uh, but I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys that watch every day. Uh, you guys rock, you know. It seems pretty nuts sometimes when we think about the fact that we're a year and a month in now of posting daily videos without missing a beat. Sometimes two. Honestly, often, sometimes, <laughs> very often, two videos a day. Um... I can't believe you guys keep coming back. All right, two spoons. I got my spoons. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you guys keep coming back, but you do. And you know, you guys have probably noticed uh, this last couple weeks, I feel like our videos have been a little different or at least a little less, I don't know what to say. Like yesterday we did a whole video where we just opened packages. Uh, a couple days before that, we just did a strictly like going and trading in video game stuff. We're just trying to change it up a little. You know, we don't, we're not bored with what we're doing, but we feel like if we get too bored with what we're doing, we're going to mess up and, and want to quit or something. And neither of us really feel this way right now. So we're just trying to do something a little different. So I said, say, I appreciate all you guys that are just kind of ride or die and watch no matter what we decide to do. Uh, but I'm excited to go back to the bins in a couple days. We're planning on going. So definitely subscribe if you're not subscribed for that or I'll eat all your cookies if you don't hit the subscribe button. And uh, we're going to, yeah, in the next week or so, we'll be doing a couple bins videos. We'll be definitely doing some more trade-in stuff where we go trade-in stuff for video games and bring some good stuff home. And what else are we going to do? We're going to be doing some live stuff over on our second channel, Rubber Duck okay. Yellow. There's a link below. Go click on it, subscribe, or I'll definitely eat your cookies. You don't um, want them to eat your cookies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's going to be it. Thanks for hanging out with us. Thanks for hanging out with us here on the floor of our game room. We've never done this before. We'll have to do it again sometime soon. I feel nice and, and cozy in our little powwow. <laughs> well, it's it's so much cooler down here than it is standing up over there by the lights and stuff. I kind of like it. It just feels relaxing. Yeah. Like we're hanging out. <laughs> we're all sitting on the couch together except yeah. we're on the floor. Yeah, we're all <laughs> hanging out at our living room floor. So thanks for hanging out with us, guys. Do me a couple favors before we get out of here. Well, you had the merch. You had our merch on today. I did. <laughs> <laughs> but you changed into your sweater. I did because we, we actually went to the gym. So Yeah, so we... <laughs> Got sweaty. After we did you exercise in the merch? No, no. <laughs> I was gonna say we have Tindo's trash shirts and stuff, so go get them, go exercise in them. Uh, but you can check out our merch on Tindo'sTrash.com. Uh, we just shipped out a bunch of hoodies, so if you've ordered some hoodies, definitely check them out. Uh, what else? Before you get out of here, like I said, hit the subscribe button. Also, check out our public Discord. It's a place where you can come chat with us and some of the other people watching this channel. It's a good place to be. It's been, today was an especially good day over the Discord. Uh, there was a new Pokemon set out today. Today, today was like the release date, and uh, lots of people were posting pictures of it and stuff. It was pretty cool. So go check that out. Link below. We're talking about video games and dishes and everything else we do on this channel. We talk about over there on the Discord. Uh, but other than that, we post daily videos here on this channel. So make sure that you come back tomorrow and hang out with us then. And until then, guys, peace out.